Hello and good afternoon, LinkedIn. I wanted to take this opportunity to discuss three of the main features of AR Kit and Reality Kit. I'm now in beta and iOS 13 being released in September later this year. And I feel are the most important feature enhancements. Uh, number one is image classification. So if you look all the way over into the, uh, the green um, pixel classification there on the, on the left hand side, you're going to see that this is accomplished via semantic segmentation in real time um, using machine learning to identify pixels via supervised training algorithms to automatically isolate certain classes of objects. In this instance or example, uh, the system is colorizing my human body uh, in green. You can do any, in, any series of colors via the RGB camera sensor stream or other depth uh, cameras via the, the front facing uh, true depth camera on the iPhone X series. Now, obviously, this is a tremendous uh, achievement in computer vision in general, something we've been you know, struggling with for many, many years, and, and, and most likely it's going to significantly reduce the computational power needed to contextually understand the world as we see it, not as the way that we expect machines to see it. And, and that's a significant difference there. Uh, number two is real-time occlusion. This has, again, been another uh, differentiator that was incredibly difficult to achieve and to achieve immersion in any types of applications. So I'll give you an example of actually what this looks like. So what I've done here is you can actually just see the small little chair in front of me. But what I'm, the whole point of this is blending photons and atoms together. So we want the system to actually identify me, classify me, all the pixels associated with my human body, so it understands where to overlay digital content. So if it wants to see this chair now, and understands this is a chair and all the edges associated with this chair. Now, if we put something behind it, it knows it's still there, just like Babel Rabbit, the iOS application using 6D AI, um, their algorithms. You know, objects can actually go behind something like Niantic and Pokemon Go and Harry Potter, and then they can come right back out. It creates a fully immersive experience with our eyes, right? Because in the past, you just had this digital element that kind of floats around, you get up to something and it moves right out through it. And we automatically associate that with being fake. That's not what we want in any kind of application, in AR Kit, in AR Core, in Unity, or Unreal, or any of the spatial computing applications moving forward. Very, very important. And, and number three is real-time motion capture. Let's go ahead and jump right in so I can show you guys what this looks like as an example. All right, here we are, we're back. So this is showing real-time motion capture, which is something that required expensive hardware, firmware, and software for the past 15 years. Now you can accomplish this in AR Kit 3, Reality Kit, um, you know, right out the box. And that's, that's amazing. There's so many different sectors and enterprise and consumer level businesses. And, and for me, I think the biggest impacts are gonna be in healthcare and the fitness industries because you can take your cell phone and start to line up all different types of proof of concepts. One of them for me is I do a lot of weightlifting. So I wanna be able to see the angle of attack when I'm doing bench, when I'm doing squat. And now you can accomplish this task by just setting up your phone on a tripod as a, as a personal trainer and going ahead and, and actually analyzing the degrees that, that somebody can bend down and move that somebody can move off their chest for the bench and it, it, it's going to help people in re, uh, rehabilitation um, for injuries and various other other types of applications is very exciting um, but i want to hear from you guys from your perspective how do you think these changes will change the game uh, in regards to the exponential enhancements released by apple here in ar kit 3 and reality kit i want to hear from you drop your comments at the bottom of this post today thank you so much for tuning in guys have a wonderful day